Hi guys, I'm going to try and do a read aloud with Dory Phantasmagory. I love Dory. <clears throat> Chapter 1, Such a Baby. My name is Dory, but everyone calls me Rascal. This is my family. I am the little kid. My sister's name is Violet, and my brother's name is Luke. Violet is the oldest, and Violet and Luke never want to play with me. They say that I'm a baby. Mom, Rascal's bothering us. What is she doing? calls my mother. She's looking at us. She's breathing. All summer long, whenever I try and play with Luke and Violet, they say, please leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave, but I can't think of what to say, so I ask questions. Any question I can think of. What does please mean? Why do we have armpits? How do they make plastic? Sorry, I'm trying to get the... You guys can see the pictures really well. I can't wait for school to start so we can take a break from rascal, says Violet. Me too, grumbles Luke. Don't talk about school. I cover my ears. I never want summer to end. I like to stay home in my nightgown instead of getting dressed for school. Sounds like now, huh? It's a winter nightgown, says Violet. And it's inside out, says Luke. Uh, and it's backwards, says Violet. So what, I say. So now that you turn six, you need to stop acting like such a baby. Why do you always call me a baby, I complain. Because you talk to yourself, says Violet. And you have temper tantrums, says Luke. Uh, and you play with monsters, says Violet. Talk to myself? I have no idea what they're talking about. I never talk to myself. I mean, I talk to my friend Mary, but no one can see her except for me. Mary, it's lunchtime. Mary always wants to play with me. She thinks I'm the greatest. Why do we have armpits? What an interesting question. And at night, Mary sleeps under my bed. What's the opposite of a sandwich? During the day, Mary follows me around. She wants to do whatever I'm doing. I usually don't mind, but sometimes I have to tell her no. Sorry, Mary, I'm playing with Violet. No, you aren't. Okay, Mary, what do you want to play, I ask. The Amazon guy's outside, and his truck is beeping very loudly, and he's playing very loud music. So I'm sorry about that interruption. Here are some things Mary likes to do. Try and steal Violet's doll cherry, fake sleep, sneak cookies from the high cabinet, and exercise club. Getting dragged around the house in a laundry basket. Why are you talking to the laundry basket? Faster! And to look for monsters. There's the toilet monster, the ketchup monster, the vacuum monster, the living room monster, the broken drawer monster, the upstairs hallway monster, the laundry monster. But Mary is my favorite. My house is actually full of monsters. There's the toilet monster who comes into the bathroom if you sit in the toilet for too long. And then there's the ketchup monster who makes weird noises when you squeeze the ketchup. And there's also the laundry monster, the broken drawer monster, the vacuum monster, the upstairs hallway monster, the living room monster, and more. I try to warn Luke and Violet when I see one. Watch out! It's behind you! Ah, there's a monster in your underwear! Run! The vacuum monster is coming! But Luke and Violet don't appreciate it. Rascal is driving me crazy! Yeah, me too. What are we going to do? Let's scare her back. I'll think of something. Think of something that will get her to stop acting like such a baby. Hmm, I've got an idea. After dinner, Violet and Luke say they have something important to tell me. I follow them upstairs, skipping steps. I'm so excited. What can it be? Violet lets me sit on her bed. Maybe she will let me play with Cherry. Very slowly, Violet asks, Rascal, have you ever heard of someone named Mrs. Gobblecracker? I shake my head no. Well, Mrs. Gobblecracker is a robber, and she steals baby girls, says Violet. And she's 507 years old, and she has very sharp teeth, adds Luke. 
And well, says Violet, you're going to be really surprised when I tell you this. What? I say, I'm dying to know. She's been looking for you, she says quickly. Are you serious? I ask. Dead serious, she says. Mrs. Gobblecracker is looking for me? I ask in amazement. Shh, says Luke. She's so scary. You have to whisper when you say her name. Like, Mrs. Gobblecracker. So if I were you, I would stop acting like such a baby so she doesn't come and get you, says Violet. And for a moment, I'm quiet. This is a lot to think about. Luke and Violet stare at me as if they're waiting for me to cry. Okay, so how will she get in the house? Does she come in the front door? And will she ring the doorbell, I ask? Before they answer, I have some more questions. Is she sneaky? Will I have to battle her? Does she wear a long black cape? Is it made out of fur? Is it real fur or is it fake fur? Are her teeth rotting? Does she brush them? Does she have a real creepy looking nose? Does she have a cat? Does she live in a cave? Does she have really long bones? We don't know. Leave us alone, they shout, shaking their heads and walking away fast. I follow Luke and Violet around the house. Oh my gosh, what have we done, says Luke, covering his ears. Is she a vegetarian? Does she vote? Is she nocturnal? Does she like ice cream? Does she like anything? Is she powerful? Does she have a cell phone? Does she eat rubber chickens? This is the worst idea we have ever had, says Violet, trying to get away from me. Ever, says Luke. Ever, ever, ever. I don't even want to know what happens next, says Violet. Chapter two. Did you hear the doorbell ring? The next morning, I warned Mary. Mrs. Gobblegrecker is 507 years old, and she has black teeth that are sharp like needles, and her pockets are full of dirty tissues. And she's on her way over here right now, so don't act like a baby. I've never seen a monster so scared. When I hear the doorbell, I run downstairs. Did you hear the doorbell? Nope. I didn't hear anything. Okay, I'll get it, I say. Go fish. Ah! She's here! I run and hide under my parents' bed. There's something warm and furry under the bed. Someone is already hiding under this bed. It's Mary. I'll jump out and scare her when she least expects it. Have you seen my cape? I whisper. Mary reaches behind her and hands me my cape. It's all wrinkled up in a ball. She always takes things and doesn't return them. I'm going to battle, I tell her as I put on my cape. Can I help? Nope. Too dangerous. Then, as fast as I can, I run into Luke's room to look for his darts. But when I hear footsteps coming closer, I dive into the closet to hide. It's dark and warm and kind of smelly. Actually, I'm very happy in the closet, so I decide to stay. Days and days go by, probably. I can hear my family saying, where's Rascal? He, 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 they'll never find me, I giggle. The footsteps again. Oh no, she's going to find me. The closet door opens. It's just boring old Luke. Rascal, what the heck are you doing in there? He asks me. Leave me alone, I scream. I'm so angry he ruined my hiding spot. Don't find me. Don't find me, I shout. Don't find me. And then I kick and bang and throw some things and I cry so hard that the room looks blurry and upside down. And after I'm done, I feel better. Can I borrow a dart, I ask Luke, drying my tears. You're nuts, he says, and he walks away, which I think means yes. I take the darts and I run. In the hallway, I run into Mary. She's pointing and jumping up and down. Mrs. Gobblecracker went downstairs. She's in the living room. What are you going to do, she yells. I'm going to shoot her with this special sleeping dart. It will make her sleep for a hundred years. Wow, said Mary. That is a good idea. Don't follow me, I warn her. Just in case. There she is, just sitting there. I hold my dart, ready to shoot it across the room. Ready, one, two, wait a minute. What did Violet just say? I'm the mommy and you're the daddy, says Violet. Are they playing house? I stop my battle and I drop my dart. I want to play house. Now we just need a baby, says Violet. Baby, did somebody say baby? I can be the baby. My sister looks very at me very carefully, trying to decide. I show them my cutest baby face. Goo, I say. Goo-moo-goo-goo-moo-gaki-boo-goo. Hmm, says Luke. 
Well, says Violet. Hmm, says Luke. I have a better idea, says Violet, grabbing Cherry. Cherry can be the baby. Great idea, says Luke. She's much quieter and cuter, says Violet. Stupid old baby Cherry, I think. Using my scariest voice, I clench my teeth and I warn her. Just wait. One day I'll get you. As I walk away, I hold my head up high. And I think, I don't have time to play anyways. I'm too busy. But what was I so busy doing? I can't remember. I know, I was in the middle of something. When I get back to my room, I snuggle in bed with my bunny. And then Mary comes in with the, my dart. Oh, yeah, I say. I was just about to shoot Mrs. Uh, uh, shh, do you hear that? Creaking sounds are coming from the stairs. Even the upstairs hallway monster is scared and wants to hide out in my room. We peek out and see Mrs. Gobblegrecker looking angrier than before. It's time for me to be the brave one. Three, two, one, I whisper. And I jump out and I shoot my dart right in the butt. Where is that little girl? Mrs. Gobblecracker stumbles around and is walking into the wall. Her knees are bending and her eyes are closing and she collapses. I'll find that girl when I wake up, she mumbles. And then she's sound asleep. Oh my, I have to tell Luke and Violet. They should know that I shot Mrs. Gobblecracker because I was so quick and tricky and I had such good aim. They should know that no baby could do what I do. They should know. So I run to the living room and I jump right on Violet's lap. I cut my hands, cup my hands around her ear, and I whisper my secret. Mrs. Gobblecracker is asleep in the upstairs hallway. I shot her with a sleeping dart. I'm dead serious. Mom, Rascal's bothering us, calls Violet, pushing me off her lap. What's she doing? Calls my mother from the kitchen. She's spitting in my ear. No, I'm not. I'm telling you a secret, I shout. But before my mother comes in the room, I run away as fast as I can. As I'm dashing up the stairs, I hear my mom say, Where did Rascal come up with this Mrs. Gobblecracker game? I stop to listen. I have no idea, says Violet. How would we know, says Luke. And then I run down the hallway to my room, being careful not to trip on the body lying on the floor. Chapter 3, Chicken Bone.